The Build of the Sheba Hope Reef um, is a project that has built on probably a decade of research to produce uh, an outcome that enables us to build a reef very rapidly and effectively. In practical terms, we're installing the word hope, H-O-P-E. It's a 47 metres long. Spelling out the word hope will demonstrate in a very, very visual way that there is hope for coral reefs. We are using a technique called the Mars Assisted Reef Restoration System and it's pretty much some steel structures which we call reef stars. The reef star that we are using is uh, like hexagonal shape. We cover with sands which is actually coming from reef also and fiberglass resins to protect the steel bar from corrosion. And on those 800 reef stars, there'll be around about 12, 13,000 corals. So once the coral's tied on, the guys then put the reef stars back in the water, so we want to make sure that the coral is out of the water the least amount of time as possible. Uh, we move the uh, reef stars to the site, and then we have some divers who are trained in the underwater construction, assembling the new reef underwater, and then all the connecting together and all the anchoring, which is so important to the long-term survival of the reef uh, in rough weather conditions. It's physically demanding, but at the end of the day, you could have restored 30, 40 metres squared of reef, so it's satisfying to do. We spent about a year working with the communities. Uh, on this island, we have six neighbourhoods, and each neighbourhood is responsible for providing a minimum of six people for each installation. It's their place, so we rely on the communities to work with us to protect it so that the bad things that happened to the original reef don't just happen again to this reef. Coral reefs are the most biodiverse ecosystems in the sea. The small fish are eaten by medium-sized fish, medium-sized fish are eaten by big fish. The whole marine system is interconnected. The reef is the home for the fish, and without the reef means there is no fish for the future. Now our legacy is going to be that we initiate or help initiate a sustainable program of reef restoration that started in the Coral Triangle and will spread from there to the rest of the world.